Hey everyone, my name's Ian from Port Sunlight River Park. I'm here today to do a short little video to teach you how to make a simple bird feeder. A nice little treat for the birds. Okay, so what we'll need is some lard and a selection of bird seed. I've just laid some out there for you, different types. I've got some in a, in a tub to use as well. Um, we've got a knife and the lard up and some scissors and a string. Okay, so what we need to do first is get a handful of lard and we mix that into the bowl. Then we're going to pour in some of the seed. As much seed as you can do, the more seed the better. Okay, this is where you've got to get squidgy now. <laughs> and put, mix it all in. Hopefully you can see that clearly, if not, I can hold the bowl up so you can maybe see. So you can start to see that the lard itself is attaching itself to the feed. Um, you probably see these bird feeders in the uh, shops, or fat balls I think they're called. Um, I did make one earlier, so I'll show you that one a bit. Um, it's starting to come together. It is a bit squidgy and messy. It's part of the fun, I guess, really. Um, the more seed, the better. You can make the ball as big as you like. You can even split it into two. What do you think I'm going to do for this one? And we've got two types actually. Okay. So, let's I just, as I say, put a little bit of pressure on with the hand. Then we can start to see the ball. Second one as well. It doesn't have to be perfectly round, of course, not really too much about that. Okay, right, let's move that one to there. Okay, I'm just going to give my hands a little bit of a wipe because that's the other side of it now. It's a little bit messy as you can see. All time to clear up afterwards. Uh, piece of string now, I'm going to attach this to the ball itself. So we're going to Cut it off. I'd say the first thing to do is just make a little loop in the string. We can put that round the ball then, you see. I'm going to attach it round. Hopefully you can see that okay. There we go. Just need to tie that knot as well. Hopefully that's clear to you, you can see what we've made. Yep, cool. Uh, important thing for these, uh, there's one I made earlier, so what you can actually do with that is put it in the fridge maybe for an hour or so just for it to go a bit harder. Yeah, and put it in a little bowl as well. Um, and then you can hang it out. What I would say is that make sure you hang it in a, in a sheltered position, um, somewhere the birds themselves can find it and you feel safe. Uh, importantly as well is maybe to Make sure that a cat couldn't reach it, um, so it'll be on a, on, a, on a thin branch, I guess, would be ideal. Um, and then obviously what you, you could do, or ideally, is to try and watch what bears are going to come to it. Um, that's a good way of kind of yourselves kind of get to understand different types of birds. Um, you can watch, watch and see. Um, you might get robins, blue tits, chaffinches and sparrows coming along. Um, one thing you can do as well is cap the birds. So there's a kind of bit of homeschooling here for, for nature and, and for science as well. Uh, record what's coming in um, to your feeder. And obviously you can kind of like watch them and you just watch what time of day they like to come and different types of feed. Um, I'll do a second part as well which will show you other types of feeders we can make. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to do it. Um, okay, and that, that's us with our bird feeders for now. And I'll do another one using recycled plastic. Um, so hopefully that gives you a good idea, um, you can see how the seeds actually stuck to it all um, and that will stay, stay nice and tight, as I say, don't forget to put it into the, into the fridge just to harden off a little bit, so put it in a, in a bowl um, and then compact it all down and then find a nice sheltered spot for it to, to sit in uh, and watch the birds come up, come up in your garden. Okay, thanks for watching.